This is Darius from therabbitpad.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create mailing labels using Google Drive, specifically Google Sheets. Please make sure you click that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you can be notified when I publish videos in the future. So if you want to create mailing labels using Google Drive, you're going to need to use a service called Avery Design and Print. If you're not familiar with Avery, that's the major manufacturer of mailing labels. However, if you use a generic brand, for example, I've used Office Depot brand mailing labels in the past, they will often have or use the same Avery format numbers on their labels as well. So the first step you need to do is make sure that you put all of your data inside of a spreadsheet. And here I have a list of names and addresses. After you have entered your information that you want to export into mailing labels, you need to go to Avery Design and Print, and I will link to this in the description. Also, you can also just search Avery Google Drive and Google, and that'll give you the same results. It'll be the top page. And once you are on the website, click Get Started. When you click get started, you're going to first see a list of your sheet options. I typically use the 5160, which will be located on the container or the envelope that the labels come in. And you can choose the numbers, you can search for them up here as well. So I'm going to go with the 5160 and then press select this template. On this page, you're going to see some templates that Avery provides. And for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to select, select this design. Now I'm on the page where I can customize the format of one label that can be exported to all of the labels that I eventually want to use. But the important thing right now for the purpose of this video is getting that data from Google Drive or Google Sheets into Avery Design and Print. So what you do is you go to Import Data Mail Merge, click that, and then click Start Import Merge. Once you get this box, you go over here to where it says Google Drive, and then log in with Google in order to give Avery permission to talk to your Google account. So that's what I'm going to do here. You click on your name, you click Allow, and then it will access all of the spreadsheets that you have in your Google Drive account. I'm going to select the file I wish to use, and now you see that the data in that file is listed here on Avery's website. If your spreadsheet contains a header, you want to deselect that row so that that doesn't appear on any of your labels. And then once you're satisfied with the contents of what you want to place on your labels, click next. Here is where you get to customize how the data will appear. So I'm going to put the name here, I'm going to put the street address on the second line, and then I'm going to put the city on the third line. I'm going to place a comma there, and then the state next to that, and then the zip code after that. And then I'm going to make sure that the zip code is after the state name. So after you arrange how you want your data to appear, you select next. This just gives you some instructions on how you can customize your labels. You can either edit one label at a time or edit all of them. And after you do that, you press finish. And now here is my opportunity to, again, edit one label or edit all of them. So let's say that on my labels, I want to have the name of the person to be in bold text. You select it and then I select bold. And since I'm in edit all as opposed to edit one, all of my labels will have the names of the people on the labels printed in bold text. After you're done editing the label, you select preview and print. As you can see, all of the labels have the information in the format that I want it. One thing that I do not like at this point about this is that it appears as though I cannot get rid of that comma that I put between the any town and state. I would probably have to go back and individually edit 
all of these to get rid of that. Unlike in Microsoft Word, where that comma would only appear in the labels that have actual data inside of them. But other than that, the labels are done. I can go ahead and get ready to print them. And you have an option of printing it yourself or sending it to Avery to print. And so I'm going to select print it myself. And then here you can choose to get a PDF to print. It's asking me to save it. So I'm going to save it. I'm just going to call it that. And then I'm going to save it to my account. You actually do not have to save it. If you don't want to create an Avery account, just click get PDF to print. Click don't save and then select open PDF. And now I have the PDF with the labels ready to print to my Avery labels or whatever equivalent brand that you have. So this is how you create mailing labels in Google Sheets using Avery Design and Print. If you found this video helpful, please click that like button and remember to click that subscribe button so that you can be one of the first to see videos when I publish them in the future. Also, please be sure to visit my website at therabbitpad.com.